All right, so let me give you a quick follow-up for my uh, First Light tour yesterday. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar, First Light is at 3rd in Virginia. It's Seattle's newest condo project. They're going to start uh, uh, closings here uh, late next month in October. I've sold a number of units in the building. Um, it is a, it, it's an exceptional build, okay? Uh, it was done by West Bank. I have a YouTube video that goes into great detail on why I believe in the project, why I like it in general, but I want to quickly summarize just this, this uh, bit of an update. I went through, through it with my buddy Doug, who's the lead of sales there. He's rocking and rolling and selling a bunch of units. Um, there's still a number of units left, and that's one of the things I wanted to share. There's some really great units left, and I can certainly help you understand how to structure the best contract uh, with the developer to get maybe some things added on. Uh, and get you into some of the better units that they have left. Um, there were a lot that, that I took video of yesterday that I thought were really exciting. I went through a number of the units uh, on behalf of my clients that are buying just to kind of do some quality control. Those look great. The amenity spaces are insane, you guys. Okay, 46, 47, 48 uh, store on the 48th story. Um, the pool is cantilevered, uh, you know, kind of facing the Space Needle, the building got a variance for its height. So it has like this unbelievable view. Uh, we started, I met my good buddy, Doug, that's the lead of sales there. He's kind of rocking and rolling. Um, we started down in the lobby, got a good chance to see the lobby. The first eight stories of the project, actually, there's gonna be some uh, commercial, some office space. So the residences start on eight and they go up to 45, okay? so. Um, I've sold uh, a number of units in the building, I think close to seven in total. And um, I, I just really like it, you know, like for if you're going to live downtown, you want walking distance to uh, Pike Place Market, you want to be close to Nordstrom and downtown being the heart of all of it. This is a really good location. This guy has an amazing, Russ Bank has this amazing reputation on some of the projects that they've built. I've been through a number of them up in uh, BC. They're great, like really, really great. So there's just a lot of things to love. So we start on the lobby. Um, I'll tell you a couple things uh, there real quickly before um, we move on. Uh, the lobby's pretty grand, okay? It has this cool stamped concrete uh, wall. He's gonna have his, sig his signature piano there in the foyer. There's gonna be these um, portholes that look down into the bike room down below uh, the lobby level, which I think will be kind of a cool feature. Five elevator bays. These elevators are so fast. They like rip. I've never been in a faster elevator, even, even more so than, than what Escala did. You get from the lobby to the amenity space, like literally in the blink of an eye. Um, okay, the amenities, they start on 46, 47, 48. Uh, on the 46th uh, floor, it's just crazy. I mean, the, the pool deck, the cantilevered pool, two spas, like uh, amazing covered lounge area, really, really incredible stuff. You guys, I was, I was wowed by the scale of the amenities. You also then have um, a basically an entire level that's gym, um, which is, it's going to be like by far the coolest gym you've ever seen. I mean, when you stand at on the where the amenities start and you look out over the city, for one, it's it's amazing because you're so much higher than any other project I've ever been to. Like for instance, at Insignia, you have 41 stories. This one yesterday, we were standing on either 46 or 47, and and, and it's just like mind blowing how high the project sits. Now they were able to do that because the city granted them a variance to go higher because of a contribution they made towards affordable housing. And by putting the amenity space on those higher floors, that allowed them to get a bit higher, right, in the city. So just un un unbelievable views. I'm going to post some of those here. Um, so the amenity space, rounding out that amenity space, it's really quite good. I think it's going to be the best gym in the city. So um, look, I went through a number of the units. The units are, are re really good, okay? Some floors will have as many as 13 plans. You have two bedroom plans, one bedroom plans, two urban plans, one urban plan, studios. Um, but, but like, look, this developer is serious about making deals. So for anyone that's interested in, in investing in the project, of course, I'd love to take you through and, 
and give you an idea of which units and floor plans I like the most. But there's like a lot of good variety and they come with like a really, really good package. I mean, you have automated blinds, you have like upscale appliances, new appliances. You have really, really great uh, services, stone material, hardwoods. Um, it, it's good, you guys. I mean, it's really good. And I think from a new construction perspective, like if you can step in and get even a studio right now, you get access to all these incredible amenities. A couple other things I really like about the project. I really like all the glass, the steel, um, the art installation on the exterior. It's going to have a live wall. I mean, the amenities are rich. Yoga room, gym, the pool. The pool is going to be incredible. I can promise you that this is going to be most one of the most popular projects for people to come visit to rent in because you have this incredible pool uh, so high up. I mean, you're basically eye level to the Space Needle, which is just absolutely captivating, really cool. Um, what else can I tell you? I mean, for those of you that are co committed to downtown and you want to live downtown, this is one that you just absolutely have to look at. And I can give you some recommendations on, on what you should consider. But let me show you a few more photos and clips from yesterday. And then I'm going to be kind of summarizing this a bit better and uh on youtube on my youtube channel as well so anyway enjoy talk to you guys soon see ya